Hey guys, Soki okay, Briggs here from ngboss.com and today on my desk I have a Google Nexus 7 Android tab which is stuck in boot loop. It just keeps spinning and spinning, it doesn't boot at all. So I've been able to fix this problem and I thought I'd just share with you what I did. The first thing you want to do if your phone is not booting up is to hold the power button and the down volume keys for 5 seconds. Doing this will put you on this screen and if you press the down button you should see recovery mode. Press the power button to select recovery mode. The first thing you want to do is a factory reset, that's where we are going to. So if your phone is not booting up, you can also do a factory reset from recovery mode. If you see this screen, hold the power button and volume up button this time at together. And I see wipe data factory reset. This usually solves little issues. This is a soft reset. And if after doing a factory reset and your phone still does not boot up, that's when you go up to the next step as downloading the firmware and flashing the stock firmware. Those are complicated. So if you still want to do that, let's go up over to the next step. Remember, wiping factory data reset should fix your ordinary boot loop issues. But if it doesn't, get ready to download the firmware, get ready to download all the softwares that you need and the drivers, and a computer will be required to flash the firmware on this device. A Nexus Root Toolkit, that's the software we're going to be using, and also make sure you download the Asus Nexus 7 stock firmware, the factory image. I'll put all the link in the description of this video below. So do take a look. And also the most important thing in this video is the universal drivers you need for this device. If you do not download the right drivers for this device and install on your computer, you'll just be wasting your time. So the driver installation is very, very important else your computer will not recognize your phone. So that's one of the major issues people have with driver installation. I use the Universal Naked Driver 0.72. I also use the Nexus Root Toolkit by Ugresh. That's NROT 2.1.5. And I'll put all the link in the description below. All right, guys. Here, once again, this is what you need. The Universal Driver. I used the Universal Naked Driver 0.72. 72 for this tutorial. I also used my factory image which I downloaded Nakasi LMY47V factory image. This is the latest 5.1.1 Android uh, factory image that I downloaded. It's about 379 megabytes. And also the tool that will make this possible is the Nexus Root Toolkit 2.1.5. These are the three files you need guys. So basically I launched the Nexus Root 2 kit and it has detected my Nexus 7 Wi-Fi tablet. If you use a different variant, your device should also show up here. If it doesn't, you need to select it the first time. There are many devices here. Make sure you select the right one for your phone. Auto detect might not work as much, but I was able to know that mine was LMY seven so make sure you select the correct one and apply okay the next thing you need to do is the driver installation if you have not done this manually by going to device manager to install your drivers you can also do it automatically using this tool here full driver installation guide by following the step-by-step -step guide step two step three and step four and you also test if your driver is working in step four full driver test so this will be sure that your driver is working before you even start to do anything else. Okay, with the driver installed, the next thing you now need to do, if you already have the factory image, is to click flash stock root. All right? Before you do that, make sure your device is in this state by holding the power button and the volume down button. You should put your device in this state. This is how your phone should be connected to your system before you click the flash stock root firmware. So since your phone is soft bricked in boot loop, make sure you check this box too. And when you turn this on, say okay. Make sure you read all this and just accept okay. Okay now, by default it was on this. So if you don't know your device firmware, you might need to select and download it automatically. But I already have mine on my desktop right here. You see, so I, all I have to do is select order, which will allow me to browse for the file. 
and I also select this checkbox that says I downloaded a factory image myself that I would like to use instead. So when I click OK, it's going to pop up the box asking me where my factory image is and this is my factory image. Open and the flashing should start. Take a look at this log while everything is going on. It should show you any errors you have. It should also pop up and ask you what to do about it. I won't do this again. I've already done it once, so I'm going to go ahead and unplug my cable right here. So make sure you go through these steps and your phone should boot up. It will take about 20 minutes in the first time to boot. After it has successfully flashed, make sure you leave it connected to the system and don't do anything else. Just allow it to load up and it's going to eventually boot up in 20 minutes or less. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Soki Briggs and do leave a comment, leave all your questions in the comment box below. Anything you want to ask us about the Nexus and how if you get stuck in any of the procedures.